Hi everybody, Josh Rappaport here doing a little video on how to multiply numbers between 5 and 10 using nothing more than your hands and your fingers. So, first we have to understand how you represent numbers from 5 to 10 on your hands. And this is done one hand at a time. So I'm going to remove my right hand and this is the idea. For any number from 5 to 10, what you have to think about is how much greater than 5 the number is. So since 5 is not greater than 5, you just use your full hand and all fingers for 5. Since 6 is 1 greater than 5, what you do is you put down one finger. I'm choosing to put down my pinky. You could put down any finger at all. You could, some people like to put down their thumb. I'm choosing to put down my pinky for reasons you'll see in a little while. For 7, that's 2 greater than 5, you'd put down two fingers. Eight being three greater than five, you'd put down three fingers, nine since it's four greater than five, four fingers, and 10 being five greater than five, you'd put down five fingers. So let's say you were multiplying seven by seven. You'd use this setup with two fingers down to represent seven on one hand, and you'd use the same setup, two fingers down on your other hand. And since we've got this all set up, let's go ahead and do seven times seven right now. So what you do, first thing you do is you basically put your hands together. This is why I like to put, use my inner fingers because you can see how many fingers are down and you can count them up, which is what you want to do. So you count down, count up your down fingers. You've got four down fingers here, and then you multiply that by 10. Four times 10 is 40. We're doing seven times seven. And then you add up um, the number of fingers that are up on each hand. You've got three up on your left hand, three on your right hand, 3 times 3 is 9, and you add the 9 to the 40 that you just obtained. 40 plus 9 is 49. So 7 times 7 is 49. So that's one example right there. As the next example, let's do 6 times 8. So we'd represent 6 with one finger down here and three fingers down here. That's 6 on my left hand and 8 represented on my right hand. Again, we put our hands together add up the number of fingers that are down, that's four. Four times 10 again is 40. Then we count up our, count our up fingers, four on the left hand, two on the right hand. Four times two is eight. We add eight to 40, that's 48. So six times eight is 48. Pretty nifty, huh? And then let's do seven times nine. Okay, so we've got seven here and nine would be represented with four fingers down. For seven times nine, we would have Put our hands together, we've got six fingers down. Six times 10 is 60. We look at our up fingers, we've got three on our left hand, one on our right hand. Three times one is three, 60 plus three, 63. Seven times nine is 63. And as one more example, let's do five times seven. It's interesting to see what happens when we do five. So five is represented like this, seven like this. Put our hands together, we've only got two fingers down. Two times 10 is 20. Then we look at our up fingers. Five times three is 15. 20 plus 15 is 35. So there you have it. Five times seven is 35. Okay, and let's do one that's kind of trivial. It's when you multiply by 10. So we're gonna do six times 10. So we'll represent six on our left hand like this. 10 is with all fingers down. So we put our hands together. We've got six fingers down. We multiply that by 10, that gives us 60. Look at our up fingers, four on the left hand, zero on the right hand, four times zero is zero. Add zero to 60, that's 60. Okay, so six times 10 is 60. So in a sense, that's a trivial case and pretty much everyone knows that six times 10 is 60. So this isn't very useful for that, but it's certainly useful for the uh, products of five through nine times each other. So I hope you find that helpful. And I know that students tend to find it a lot of fun and it shows that fingers can be useful for more than just counting and more than just the standard trick for multiplying single digit numbers by nine. Thanks and I'll see you in the next video.